Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones, today is 23rd day of March, being Tuesday, with five of the Lenten period, year B. Our readings will be coming from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 4 to 9. Our response will come from Psalm 102, verse 1. A gospel message will come from just gospel chapter 8, verse 21 to 30. The theme of our message today is, when you have lifted him up, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he. Jesus was making this allusion to the Jews who didn't understand what he's talking about. The Pharisees were telling them, I'm going away. And you will not see me, and you will die in your sins. And where am I going? You won't come. They will argue left and right because they are arguing out of ignorance. He said, I'm from above, you are from below. They didn't understand what it means for them. I'm not of the world, you are of the world, meaning what for them. So you are talking to people who are far from you. And Jesus said, you will do your, on your sins unless you believe that I am He. <laughs> they will die in their sins unless they believe you. So who are you for us to believe you are? Just begin to talk so it, but the did it tell them that little thought is that when you have lifted up the Son of Man up, you will know that I am He. And how can they lift Him up when they have crucified Him on the cross? They will know. At the point in the wilderness, they, get, they got impatient and spoke against God and Moses and began to lament why they brought them out of Egypt from slavery, from bondage. And God, looking how ungrateful these people are, decided to send, sell it, fairly serpents upon them and started killing them. They were dying in thousands. At the point, they, re they repented of what they did. We have sinned against God and you. Spoke against you and against God. Please, pray to God to remove this effect from us. And Moses went and prayed to God. And God said, buy a bronze serpent and put it to the pole as a sign. If any one of them go there and look after being beaten by the snake, he will live. And Moses did that. God told him, You know what? We were beaten by the snake. We just look at him. Bro serpent, look at him. And he believed. And that bro serpent lifted up is the sign of the man, son of man, when lifted up. And that what John 3 14 to 17 said, As Moses lifted the serpent in the desert, so the son of man will be lifted up. So that anyone who believes in him will not perish or have eternal life. That's why I say, when, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, you know that I am He. And that's what the same is who understood this so well today to tell us that as Moses lifted up the serpent, the Son of Man will be lifted up. And when we have lifted up Him up, we will know that He is the Son of God. He's the Redeemer. He's the Christ. He's the Son of the Living God. Then we would not come to know that. And now what the Sammy who understood this so well, they said, Oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The Israelite cried and God answered. When he's lifted up, your cry to him will be saved. And when you spoke like this, maybe you come to believe in him. And God help us to understand. And as Moses lifted up the serpent, the son of the man will be lifted up. And when he's lifted up, many of us will come to know him. Because in him, we are redeemed. In him, we are healed. May God help us to understand this today. 
I live in that very faith. Through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the Son of Man lifted up. Number the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Oh,